for the first six months of TC's injury, he really needed somebody with him at all times. Um, so I would have one of our parents come and, you know, babysit, for lack of a better word. Um, but after a while, he seemed to be doing well enough that I could at least leave him by himself. So we kind of transitioned to independence in baby steps. I left him by himself for a few hours, and he was able to cope, and it was fine. Now, I was actually more okay with that than his parents were and my parents were. They were more nervous about it, I think. Um, then after a while, it was like, okay, you're okay on by yourself. Maybe you'll be okay by yourself overnight. So just to give him that space to do overnight, you know, for a day, that was the first step. Letting Jack and TC be together independently was a much harder transition because I think I became really, really protective of Jack after TC's injury. So it was kind of like, nobody's messing with my baby, that kind of, you know, very overprotective mom kind of thing. Um, so it started off slow. It was like, okay, you guys watch a movie and I'm going to go in the other room and do something. And then it was, okay, you're going to change this diaper and I'm going to step over here. But TC was very willing to kind of jump in um, and just figure out what he was capable of. So it started off as, you know, I would go to the movies and they would be okay. Or then I would go out with a friend and have dinner and they were still fine. Um, I had a pretty good feeling by the time I needed to go back to work that TC would be capable of watching Jack on his own. But it still, it still gives me panic attacks sometimes. I still get nervous and I think that's a pretty normal response for anybody who's kind of had the rug swept out from underneath. 